I wanted to show you how easy it is to rig a grease pencil object. I want this tutorial to be simple and easy so I'll be showing just the right arm, but you can actually apply this method for the whole body. Let's begin. Go to File, Import and do not select this one, choose SVG as grease pencil instead. I'm gonna choose my robot SVG file. Click on Material Preview and Scale, then move it up. Shift A to add a single bone. Go to edit mode and place the bone like so. Then extrude two times for the lower arm and the hand. In object mode select the grease pencil object first. Then the armature and press Ctrl P to set parent to armature to form with empty groups. This time select the armature first, then the grease pencil object and press Ctrl tab to choose weight paint mode. You can control click a bone to paint weight for that specific bone now. I'm gonna disable pen pressure and paint. It's F to change brush size and shift F to change strength, but control F to change weight doesn't work for grease pencil weight paint like it does for the mesh. Press R to rotate the bone to check your weight paint. Let's work on the lower arm bone. Last one. You can right click to access the menu too. Change weight to zero if you want to subtract. This can happen to you. Just rotate the arm around and paint until the vertex doesn't get affected. Fine tune the weight until you're satisfied. Now go back to object mode. Select the armature and click on this human looking icon tab. Choose B bone under viewport display. In pose mode, select all and press Ctrl Alt S to scale the bones. Click on the bone properties tab now and click on bendy bones to see the options. Alt click on segments and enter 16. How many segments is up to you? I'll change the viewport display to wire so you can see better. Try rotating the bone and add a subsurf modifier if you want to the grease pencil object for smoother looking graphic. I didn't for this tutorial. Why don't we make a quick animation? Let's select all bones and press I to insert rotation keyframes at frame 1. Then go to frame 20 and rotate this bone. Press I for a rotation keyframe again. Now go to frame 40 and rotate the hand bone and add a keyframe. Go back to frame 1 and press spacebar to play. Make adjustments to keyframes to your liking. You can also right click and choose interpolation mode for more options. Hope this was a fun and easy tutorial for you. Please subscribe if you think this tutorial is helpful and thanks for watching guys.